Hey gang, Sean here for VFX Jams. In today's episode, we're going to continue on with our film damage look. Um, this is a this is a fun episode in that we're going to deal with color. This um, we're going to create essentially what's um, what's kind of like a Kodachrome look. Uh, Kodachrome, if you're not familiar, if you're a youngin, um, Kodachrome was a really popular film stock made by Kodak. Um, I believe it started in the 60s, and it had a really unique look to it and became incredibly popular. It was really known for its reds and its yellows. They really popped. They were really saturated. Really a beautiful, poppy-looking color. Um, matter of fact, so inspiring, Paul Simon wrote a song about it, so look that up. Again, this falls under a more broader category of just color correction, but I threw it inside the Film Damage um, series because it kind of has a nostalgia feel to it. And it looks cool with all of the other work that we've put together um, on top of it. So let's jump in and create this look. So we're going to start with a piece of footage like we've been doing. We're going to use our Santa Monica Pier footage. I'm going to turn the sound off. I'm going to remember. And now we are going to apply an adjustment layer. So right mouse click down in the timeline. New adjustment layer. And we're going to call it Kodachrome. K-O-D-A-C-H-R-O-M-E. Kodachrome. Right mouse click in your uh, effects window and we're going to start with color correction hue saturation. And now uh, master we're going to crank up the saturation. You know what I'll zoom in a little bit just so we can kind of see what we're doing as we go. So uh, the saturation gets cranked so 50. Uh, a quick note uh, when you start messing around with saturation and shifting colors if your footage is lower quality, you're going to start to see some blocks in here. That's essentially the low color sampling that your camera is doing. And unfortunately, it's just a limitation of different cameras and the quality of the sensor in the camera. The higher the quality, the less of this breaking up you'll see. Um, the lesser of the quality, you'll see a lot more of it in here. You can even see up here. You can see it start to break up a little bit. But no biggie. We'll still get our overall look. So... All right, so uh, we want to go uh, into this channel control and move it down to red. And we are going to shift the hue to minus one on the red. And we're going to turn up the saturation to six and the lightness to 15. And then we'll take a look at the yellow. And we are going to make the yellow lightness 25. And we are going to take a look at next at the blue. And the blue has a hue shift of minus seven. Now, something you'll also uh, see if you Google Kodachrome uh, images, you'll see that blue uh, shifts in many cases, uh, moves a little more towards cyan, which is a little more kind of like a blue green color. And um, incidentally, that also happens with Technicolor, which is a whole other uh, process. So, all right, so that's enough for the hue saturation. The next thing we will look at is the channel mixer. That's also in color correction, channel mixer. And we're gonna dial in some numbers here. So red, red is 85. Uh, red, green is 10. Red, blue is minus 15. Red, constant is 15 and we're gonna jump down to blue red blue red is 15 and blue green is minus 10 all right so before after so you can see we're doing some pretty dramatic shifts of color here all right the next thing we're going to do is add color balance, the color balance effect also under color correction and color balance right here. And shadow red is minus 25. Shadow green, whoops, uh, mid red. Actually, we're going to skip that and go to mid red. Mid red balance is minus 25. Mid green, mid tone green is Eight. Uh, highlight red is 15. And highlight green is minus 15. 
that's it for color balance. And so that is really, that would be kind of like Kodachrome right out of the box. Um, brand new, uh, brand new film. And just developed it yesterday. Um, I'll show you what it looks like before and after. That's our footage before, which actually on the day of the shoot, that this color is a way more accurate representation of what you see with your eye. Um, but the way that uh, Kodachrome would bias color uh, is much closer to this. So you can see it why it was pretty popular. It has a really poppy, kind of fun, cool look to it. So um, since we're doing this for a film damage uh, um, series, I'm going to add a little age to this. This is a super simple gag, but um, all you have to do is go into, we want the photo filter, and I never remember where these are, so we'll just, we're gonna do our search over here. Whoop. Photo filter, there it is. And we're gonna drag it and drop it in there. And we're going to use the warming filter, light balance, LBA. And we're gonna change the density to 50%. So this basically is as if um, over time the um, the the print or the um, the film has uh, just aged the celluloid the plastic that it's on has just aged a little bit it's got some ultraviolet damage to it and um, that makes it a little more sort of nostalgic looking so very simply that photo filter so if you want to keep it absolutely pristine that's what you would do Let's see we go towards later in the footage you can see a little bit more. So this guy especially is like that red is really dramatic here and I'll turn it off so you can see not nearly as dramatic but so cool look cool trick um, great uh, just a great vibe to it so that's it for the Kodachrome look and with this the aged Kodachrome look um, and as always if you've enjoyed this tutorial and you'd like to see more feel free to subscribe and we'll keep bringing them to you also if you have an idea or if you uh, if you uh, hit a wall on a project and you're stumped and you need to know something uh, hit me up in comments and we'll see if we can do a little tutorial on that that's it thanks for watching <laughs>